Okay, I've got my spackling paste and my trusty palette knife. I'm just gonna start spreading it on there to get some texture. Now, this is my first time using this spackling paste to create texture on a painting. Um, you can absolutely use um, mediums to add to your acrylic paint to get the thickness that you'd like, but I decided to try this out because it is a lot cheaper. Okay, this backling paste is dried. Um, you can kind of see some of the texture that it's left. I've knocked down some of the real rough, pointy edges, uh, so that's a little bit smoother, but still has a good amount of uh, texture to it. All right, let's add some color. Uh, I've mixed up some color here. This is like a dark turquoise uh, color. I just mixed blue, green, black, and white. Mix it all up. And how I'm going to apply it, I'm just going to take a brush, apply it to a general area where I want it, and then I'm going to take my trusty brayer like this, roll it on, see what effect we get. Let's do it. So the point of using a brayer like this on top of a lot of texture is that it keeps the paint from filling in all of the crevices. It stays on top of the texture and creates a lot of cool looking designs. As far as composition goes for this piece, I have a general idea. Basically, I decided just to have three large shapes of color and then use the brayer to kind of uh, connect the empty spaces. Um, and I'm not too worried about overdoing it with uh, brayer marks because I can always go over it with white if it gets too much. the simplicity of this style of using maybe one or two colors with a brayer and then just making a bunch of brayer marks. I've used this exact technique to make much larger scale paintings and it's a lot of fun. Here I'm just adding some vertical lines and then eventually some horizontal lines like here. I have a lot of rounded shapes and so in the interest of keeping it balanced, I wanted to add these lines. Here's some white that I'm applying directly onto the brayer just to add another layer and a little bit more contrast. Okay, that about does it for this little piece. I hope you guys enjoyed and I encourage you to try this technique out. <laughs>